so this is basically all you need is a Phillips screwdriver um, which is interchangeable and goes into a flathead and also a power tester okay get started uh, so I'm gonna take off this plastic insert just here um, simply just buy a flathead um, get it in here and just prying it and then get my fingers into it and just pop off uh, it has four simple clips and then I am going to change to my Phillips and undo these two screws just here this one just open that door a little bit more and one down here and then um, you just put your hand in behind here and pop, and pop off the little clips in there and then come through to the other side and there is one under here um, so I just pull that off and it just pulls off okay um, so after that that's all nice and hung loose um, you want to find a decent earth uh, which I found going to the screws is definitely not enough because it's painted um, so basically in the SGTs uh, there's two wires down in here um, hopefully you can see a red and a yellow um, now my red's playing up a bit so I'm not anymore using that uh, but I did um, which had power and then to this one which then goes into a white clip up here um, so, so as you can see I've got power um, and then I've just hooked my wiring, uh, orange wiring into a chocolate box and into that which is my power for my boost gauge um, then my ignition which is my red I have teed it off um, so one goes through to my sensor uh, which is over the other side which I'll show you soon and then one runs one wire runs through my dash and goes to my head unit uh, to get the ACC um, so now we'll jump across to the other side and I'll show you where I've put my sensor and I'll get back to you when we're over there. Okay, so this is my sensor on the passenger side. Um, I've actually bolted it in uh, just to there to the plastics um, so it would stay there. Um, the reason why I've put it here is so it's accessible to get to if I have any problems with the wiring. Uh, sorry about the light there. Um, and so as you can see, you can see my boost line coming through and I've put it behind this plastic. And then I've actually popped it out through the door here. Um, unfortunately, I can't, I can't get it through, so I might just um, put a couple of little holes in that so it, it, it's not, not too bad and I can put that cover back over. Um, going back under here, um, you can see my wiring, which that wiring then goes back through my dash over to the other side to that other wire that I showed you just before, um, which then gives you the power to the sensor. Um, all right, I'll show you the boost line part of it now. Alright, so this is my boost line part coming through. Unfortunately, I didn't quite have enough, so I've had to put a little joiner in it. Um, I zip tied it off nicely though and bang gone to a T in section which is all zip tied off and to the GFB blow off valve and that's pretty much it it's, it's, it's all done and uh, so this is my, my boost gauge um, there's like five or six different colours um, so I'll just show you there it is there Comes up and bang done. So I've done it to um, match all my dash lights, uh, as you can see, red and red. Um, it's reasonably quite bright. There's um, a little dial on the back of this, um, which you can adjust the light. Um, 
there's five or six different colors there's blue green yellow um it's not too badly priced uh automatic gauge um 80 dollars i think it was and i went and picked it up there um and then i just got this swivel um sleeve for it uh, so i can move it around and just got a bit of um cable covering for it so it sort of made it a little bit tidier um and that just sticks straight to my dash doesn't leave any residue on there or nothing too major anyway um so it's reasonably to get off if i uh, decide to take it out right, cheers <laughs>